This video is going to cover the new exotic trace rifle, Aegis Scepter, and it's going to be a fun one, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, Guardians. This video is a review of the new trace rifle, Aegis Scepter. Don't even get me started on the grind that I had to go through to get the bastard, but here we are. I'm going to cover both PvE and PvP, what are its perks, and what it works best for, TLDR. The gun is insane. First things first, you know those rock formations in the Shattered Realm? Yeah, this gun can destroy them. I'm not going to be covering the quest, it's pretty straightforward, but there is a lot of grind behind it. Be prepared to farm astral alignment. Ugh. Righty then, let's inspect the gun's perks. Its intrinsic perk is Agar's Call. Killing a target with the gun does an area of effect pulse that freezes combatants in PvE, and the area of effect is quite big. This makes the gun an excellent add control weapon where there are lots of combatants. It has a catalyst slot so we can expect that soon, and also it comes with a perk similar to the Cryostasia sidearm, Riga's Refrain. Getting stasis kills reloads the gun from reserves. So getting kills with the gun, or any stasis damage in particular, will reload it even when stowed. After playing around with it in a few activities, it seems to be best used against minor enemies to freeze everything around it, making it a clear add control gun. We will also look at its performance in PvP, but first, the community, the community focus. focus. It's the part of the video where I pick out a comment from recent videos and give them a shout out. There were a few this week, so thanks for the kind words of wisdom, but the winner is... Stan commented offering some trials help after I posted a short of my highlights on the way to my first lighthouse clear of the season. Three more followed that, funnily enough. Thanks for the offering hand. Leave a like and comment to get involved, you may be the next featured. Check social media links if you can, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. This is the best way to support my channel. Alright then, back to the video. A good fragment to use with the Spectre is Fissures. This increases the Stasis Blast radius of Frozen Combatants, causing a lot of damage in the process, adding more ad clear potential to this gun. Disgusting. So that's PvE summed up, but what about PvP? Let me tell you, it's the same as any other trace rifle. It's good at mid-range encounters and has a good TTK if you're aiming for the head. Trace rifles in general are okay, but as they use special ammo, you will find that you'll be out of ammo more than usual. Unlike PvE, where kills freeze surrounding targets, the effect in PvP slows targets instead. Thank god, as this would have been very annoying to play against if it throws opponents. It's an okay gun, but trace rifles are not meta, and I don't think they ever will be. So, that's it folks. This gun is super fun to use whether you are playing strikes, doing pinnacles, or running in harder content. It made running the corrupted strike fun enough a walk in the park. On legend difficulty, might try master with a competent team too. In PvP, it's just a standard trace rifle that can slow players or defeat a nearby slayer. Let me know in the comments section how you're finding the gun. I think the grind is worth it. That's it for this video. Hope you found it informative and makes you want to go get the bastard. Until next time. Fight forever, Guardian!